We begin in Kano, where the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate Bola Tinubu arrived the state ahead of the party's presidential rally. Bola Tinubu, in company of governors of Kano, Jigawa, and Zamfara states, has since begun stakeholders' engagements. TVC News correspondent Ibrahim Isa reports on the pre rally activities embarked upon by the APC candidate. In Kano, the All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Tinibu arrives ahead of the presidential rally in the state. His first assignment is a meeting with Muslim leaders from the Northwest. Kano, as they say, is a swing state. The APC presidential candidate believes the ulamas are very pivotal in the society. Without your guidance and cancer, the nation cannot attain the place that Allah has set for all. For Bola Tinibu, the Islamic clerics are more than teachers and the electorate more than students and listeners who are key in the electoral process. I hold you all. So continue to pray and help guide us towards having a nation we all desire. Senator Kabiri Gaya and other supporters of the APC who are in company of the presidential candidate share the same sentiment with their leader, Bola Tinibu. You can see the gathering here. Who is who as Ulamas in Kano are here? And who is who as Ulamas even in some states in the Northwest are here? Ulamas are important stakeholders in any society because the swing votes, they have a lot of followers. Most of the people that recite Quran and uh, most of these al they are all recited in Kano. And uh, that's why it's good for us to invite our national leader to come here and address them, to show them the importance of the Sibun. Kano State Governor Abdullahi Genduja, who spoke in the House of Dialect, expressed delight at Bola Tinibu's visit and assured him of more support from many other key stakeholders in the state for victory to be achieved. The All Progressives Congress presidential candidate's next point of call was the Kano Government House, where he inaugurated an empowerment program initiated by APC House of Representatives candidate for Dawakin Topa, Topa Rimangado constituency, Abbaganduji, where 70 youth who are given kiosks, point of sale machines, and startup capitals. He then paid a courtesy visit to the Emir of Kanu, Amin Adubairu, at his palace. The All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate would continue to engage key stakeholders ahead of tomorrow's presidential rally in Kano State. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano. Our vice presidential candidate of the APC, Senator Kashim Shatima, has assured that the Tinubu Shatima presidency will place premium on tackling all forms of insecurity in the Northwest if elected. Senator Shatima gave this assurance when he paid a courtesy visit to the Emir of Zazao, His Royal Highness Nuhu Bamal in Zaria. He added that they will also ensure jobs are created for the growing youth population and make sure the AKK pipeline is completed. The AMI appreciated the efforts of the federal government in addressing security concerns but called for improved measures across northwestern states. <laughs> The 
Still talking politics, the All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council in Zamfara says the recent endorsement of the Liberal Party presidential candidate Peter Obi by former President Olusha Gombasaja is not a threat to its quest for victory. Coordinator of the APC PCC in Zamfara, Senator Kabiru Marafa, says the party has put in place strategies to win next month's presidential election. Fifthly Starify reports. It is less than two months to the 2023 general election which Nigerians will vote in the next president who will succeed President Muhammad Buhari in office come May 2029. Former President Olishogun Obasanjo had a few days ago endorsed the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi ahead of next month's presidential election. But the APC Presidential Campaign Council says the endorsement means nothing to its quest for victory as it has put in place strategies to win the election. Speaking to TVC News in Guso, Coordinator of the Ashwaju Shatima Campaign Council in Zamfara and a two-term Senator Kabiru Marafa says the party is optimistic of a landslide victory. His endorsement doesn't mean anything to the APC as far as the North is concerned or to limit it to my own zone. As far as the Northwest is concerned, it doesn't mean anything, nothing. It will not change anything. We have seven states in the Northwest. As at today, six belongs to the APC. But if I tell you that uh, APC is going to take maybe more than 90% of the Northwest, I think I, I, I'm not uh, exaggerating. So uh, his endorsement might mean something to Peter or B somewhere, but definitely not in the Northwest. Uh, Northwest is the home of APC. In a related development, the APC Presidential Campaign Council has distributed assorted food items to non indigenous and the Christian community in Zamfara. The gesture, according to the Campaign Council, is to extend hands of love to the Christian community. We live with these people happily, and the members of the coordinating committee said that, okay, let us contribute something and contribute our widow's might to these people so that we can uh, show others the best kind of relationship that is supposed to exist between uh, one brother and another brother. So we expect other states to emulate us. Representatives of the non-indigenous and the Christian community thanked the APC Presidential Campaign Council for the gesture and promised to deliver aid to the target beneficiaries. Safe Zarufai, TVC News, Guso.